All right, it's Wednesday, time for a rave review. Okay, up first is a show that I know many, many, many of you love. Guess what? Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 is out tomorrow on Netflix. Now, I have reviewed the show. I, I know I watched Season 1, and I've kept up with this show, but I won't say I'm, like, religious about the show. It just, I don't know, I love a good period piece, but it's, this is not my cup of tea. But... I know it is a cultural phenomenon because people talk about it. It's taken the world by storm. People are loving the show and even spawned a spinoff, Queen Charlotte, which is on Netflix. So I know people love this show and I really do like the star. This lady, I'm so happy for her. She's done amazing things from her role in season one and where the character has developed. I do like her. So take a look at the trailer for season three, part two. Dearest gentle reader, Last night, an announcement came with great speed. Mother. Oh! <laughs> I'm delighted for you both. <laughs> Colin Bridgerton, betrothed to Penelope Featherington. <laughs> Who needs fresh air when there is fresh gossip? Oh, and every eye in the town, focus on our upcoming nuptials. I have always loved you, Colin. There is nothing that makes me happier than being with you. You have not told him, but you always will. Louis, please do not tell him. We will find out. Congratulations. But you must have made it all rather sudden. I have known her a very long time. But perhaps it did all happen rather swiftly. Okay, so that is out tomorrow. So mark your calendars. Uh, I believe the Shondaland show has been renewed for season four, but I don't want to say that yet, but I do think it's in the works because it is a huge hit, so check that out tomorrow. All right, moving on. Okay, now this next show, I even hesitate. I had to even cut this trailer so far down because this show, okay, here's the thing. I know everybody talks about it. People who love this show love it. They love it. It's way too graphic for me. It's the boys. That's what it's called. It's like if you love like comedy and superheroes and graphic details and graphic. I, it's really strange, okay? It's a weird show. However, here's how I got introduced. I have some friends in LA who I was visiting and they were talking about how they had a friend who works on this show and they're like, oh, you gotta get a chance, it's so good. So then I tried and I was like this. You know how you watch a show like this? That's how I did it. So here's the thing. Season four is out tomorrow. Take a look at this very condensed, condensed, condensed trailer. I look back at my life, and all I see are the messes I made. Then I ain't got time to fix it. I can do one thing right with the time I got left. But I can't do it alone. I can't do it without you. That's all I can show you, for real. If you want to watch the whole thing, go watch it online. But I was like, cut this down. Uh, the first three episodes are out tomorrow on Prime, so you can catch up with that show. I know a lot of people love it, so enjoy. Um, okay, now it's time for a retro rave review. I'm going back because there's a reason for this. Suits, the whole series, dropped on Netflix earlier this year, and it, like, blew up. I mean, like the number one stream show with billions of views. It got the attention of Netflix. It got the, cre the attention of the creators. And they even had a reunion on the Emmys. The four main characters, minus Meghan Markle, were on the Emmys presenting. So here's the thing. Uh, all these views, there's resurgence of pop culture. My brother and his family, I remember watching this in, in its original run. They loved it, loved it, loved it. They kept saying, Jeremy, you got to watch it. I never watched it. So guess what, guys? I'm now almost done with season two. And I love Suits. I love this show, so I'm gonna show you a retro trailer. This is season one trailer from 2011. Take a look. You are looking at the best closer this city has ever seen. Closer, huh? Baseball? Attorney, I close situations. What did you get me? I said I was gonna get you 158. Pencils down. Excuse me, do I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. I told you I wanted a 175. You're a B minus student. I get you a 175, they'll know you cheated. I can have my money, please. Recruiting, Harvey. Your interviews are set up for tomorrow. Can we please skip the recruiting? Harvey Specter, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, we only hire from Harvard, and you haven't even gone to any law school. What if I told you that I consume knowledge like no one you've ever met, and I've actually passed the bar? I'd say you're full of crap. Read me something. Civil liability associated with agency is based on the reasonable inference of agency on behalf of the plaintiff and the nature of the damages themselves. 
How did you know that? I like to read. Once I read something, I understand it. And once I understand it, I never forget it. I'm emailing the firm. I just found our next associate. I'm Rachel Zane. I'll be giving you your orientation. Wow, you're pretty. Good. You've hit on me. We can get it out of the way that I'm not interested. I love you. Suits, a new original series. Premieres Thursday, June 20. Okay, so that was from 2011. Here's the thing. I'm addicted. I love it. It's a legal drama. Great writing. And I'll say... I'm not a fan of Meghan Markle in real life, like the royal family thing. I love her on this show. I was like, I like Meghan Markle. I wish she would go back to acting and not be uh, a duchess because I love the show. I love the chemistry with her and the guy that plays, plays Mike Ross. He has the photographic memory. So here's what's great. This show went on Netflix. Guess what? Now it's getting a reboot. It's getting an all new version that's set in Los Angeles. Um, it's set to start filming soon. Hopefully a premiere date will be in 2025 with a whole new cast. Here's the thing. This cast is so amazing with great chemistry. With none of the originals returning, can they capture the magic of the original suits? If they have the great writing, I could see. But I'm telling you, these people right here, amazing. So be looking for the Suits reboot coming up next year. Uh, a quick, some new TV news really for, for you fast. Denise Richards, guess what? The superstar formerly married to Charlie Sheen and a former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is getting her own reality show with her daughters. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see that. Uh, they might address to their OnlyFans. Denise and her daughter both have an OnlyFans, which is crazy to me. Uh, if you like Denise Richards, you might like this. Also, reality front, Alec and Hilaria Baldwin getting a new family reality show against the advice of their lawyers who said the timing is terrible amid his legal battles that he's going. You've heard about Rust and the shooting and yeah, why they're doing a reality show. If they come across bad, it is not going to look good for them. Also, I've said this before, but wanted to remind you, Palm Royale. One of my favorite shows of the year. Getting renewed for season two. They need to hurry up and film it fast because I want to see what happened. It left you on a great cliffhanger. And then finally, guess what? Adam Scott just posted on his Instagram a tiny glimpse of season two of Severance, my number one show of the year. Severance is coming back. Here's a shot of him in the inner world of Severance. I cannot wait for this show. It is amazing. If you have not watched it, go watch Severance. Severance. Binge it now. I, you will not regret it. It is amazing. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM coming up right after this. I love suits and I love severance.